So I am at the lower Chihuahua OHP trail um, because I'm out here solo and there was a huge rain. I'm waiting for my brother to show up. First time at Mad River area. I'm looking forward to it. My brother's going to show up in a day or two. Um, so I'm just taking a little bit of scouting. Last night there were flash flood warnings and I guess there was a washout on 97 over by Intiat. So definitely uh, gonna be watching for washed out trails as well. So here we go, Lower Chihuahua. Riders, they said that it's blocked by giant trees, so but not going up there solo anyway. Gonna continue on up to Minnow and Chickamon. Real switch. 
Okay, so I finally made it to the end of Lower Chihuahua. Okay, so Chickaman Creek's the one I want to come down because it has more technical terrain. And signs are kind of confusing because over to the left is Minnow Ridge. That's what I want to do. like uh it's, it's dusty down in there but that white stuff is like uh it's pumice volcano pumice it's actually really nice riding alone on a trail i've never been on so yeah yeah i'm riding kind of conservative Chickaman Creek yet. I kind of pictured it more like over here and crossing those little creek or stream basins on the Topo, so it doesn't seem like I've gone far enough yet. Oh, An older growth forest with a lot of dead trees underneath. Creek. Just got to the end of Menno Ridge and I guess Chickaman Creek continues as a, it might be hiker only after the spot. Okay, I was hoping there's no washouts and I have to turn around.
Thai. Yeah, Chicken and Thai. That goes up to uh, Clone Peak. But we're going back down. 21 miles to the spot. Well, minus about a mile and a half going through the campgrounds. straight straight on <laughs> jumped up the woods there too bad i didn't have the camera on for that well i saw his tracks i think it was running from me and then i caught up to it freaked out And being pretty methodical, I'm taking no chances. Creek. Probably about halfway down Chickaman Creek. Yeah, I saw an animal that looked like the size of a coyote or wolf, but it could have been a cougar. a little it was definitely bigger than a fox coyote wolf it had a bushy tail that's why I don't think it was a cougar and it was reddish 